What's up, 10 Scale Squad? The holidays are just around the corner, and that means that the Crawliday Spectacular is just around the corner as well. Last year, we had a good old time running our 24 scale crawlers around the crawler track, and this year, I'm going to try and up my game a little bit. This is my Axial SCX 24, and a little while ago, we did a few upgrades to this thing. We wanted to see just how much brass wheel weights made a difference on these things. And the results were pretty surprising. I mean, look at that. Look at that. The thing just sticks hard. First try, up and over, beautiful. And this thing is a little monster. I mean, this thing crawls really, really well. Is it as good as it could be? No, it's not. Let's improve it. So today we are going to put on new wheels and tires and we're going to be installing these Coda Racing aluminum links. Now these wheels and tires by, who are they by, Injora? But they're really awesome. It's a three-piece wheel. It's all machined aluminum, and the quality is really, really nice. The only downside is that the brass wheel weights on these things won't, won't fit. So we're gonna have to scrap the brass wheel weights, but, it's not all bad because I actually weighed the stock wheels with the brass wheel weights and the new wheels. The stock wheels with the brass wheel weight is 20.5 grams. The aftermarket wheels and tires are 25 and a half grams. So these wheels and tires by themselves are actually heavier than these guys right here. Now that is going to help keep this thing planted when it's crawling over terrain. And there are some other benefits to this as well. Obviously these are foam filled, uh, which just makes it a really nice feeling tire. These things are also just a little bit taller and wider than the stock wheels as well. Not only that, but they have a different offset. So it actually spaces the wheels out a little further. So we've got a little bit wider track width on this thing as well. The only downside is that these wheels and tires do not come assembled. You have to assemble them yourself. So if you've never done that before, it can be a little bit intimidating because there are 22 screws for each wheel and tire. So that's 88 tiny little screws all together. And they can be a little finicky to make happen. And if you're in to beadlock wheels, right now at 10skillgarage.com, you can get the beadlock t-shirt or beadlock sticker, and you can represent your favorite 10 Skill uh, Garage YouTube channel. So that's enough jibber jabber. Let's get to, you know, making it happen. at that moment I realized I screwed up. Let me ask you an uh, important question. How old were you when you realized that the links on the SCX24 Deadbolt and Betty were different than the links on the SCX24 for the C10 and the Jeep? I was today years old and of course I ordered the wrong ones. Ordered them for the Deadbolt, didn't order them for the C10. Uh, you know, rather than sending them back I thought I'd give Ethan um, a little upgrade on his deadbolt. So they're not going to waste. And I did drive this thing uh, both before and after I put the links on it and the links are freaking awesome. So I went back online, ordered the right set of links, although this is uh, from a company I've never heard of. And because I was so upset and frustrated, I went ahead and ordered the Trio front steering links as well as some brass hexes. And uh, yeah, the thing is feeling mighty stout. Uh, so now that I've got the correct links, I'm gonna go ahead, throw these on there and call it good. 
Maybe I can just like. Did it work? <laughs> I hope so. Boom. There it is. Uh, yeah, we got the links on. They look absolutely sick. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool with that trio uh, front steering link as well. With all the gold hardware and the bead locks and all the good stuff, this thing looks wicked. Man, I see what you did there too with that with that red. You like oh, that? Yeah, I see what you're doing. Dude, I got a little bit of Ooh. everything. Green shocks, red links. It's I like it. The amazing... The, the, the normal paint of the body no longer looks appropriate right it's the amazing technicolor dream truck is what it is <laughs> uh but i think now we should probably see how it goes on the, the deal yeah yeah absolutely you i'm curious these? i'm curious to, yeah always ready ready Now that you've driven yours, uh, why don't you drive mine and see how the two compare? Look at that tire rub. Look at the tire rub. Right up, dude. Turn, come on. Yeah, it is rubbing bad. I did find some 3D printable. Oh, oh you can save it. Those tires grip like crazy. I did find some 3D printable fender flares, uh, so I might trim out the body to clear the wheels and then throw some fender flares yeah, on there to make really it, cool. yeah, just make it look not so cut up. <laughs> Cause it's definitely got that. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, look at that. The wheels are rubbing bad. And I'm it's, going like almost half throttle to get it to eat through the, the body. But look, it's wide enough to just go right over Steve's hole. <laughs> and you can choose the most aggressive line here and it just, it just does it. No problem. All right, 10 skill squad, what do you think? This thing, I mean, wider track width, taller tires, giving it a better approach angle. It is an absolute wet. However, we need to trim yeah, the body the body bad. rub is bad. It's real bad. Uh, and then once we do that and we can get full steering out of it again, I think she should be pretty much unstoppable. The way that it climbs terrain and just grabs and everything is precise and direct, it handles a lot better. Actually, fun-filled fact, the motor was very warm to the touch oh, because yeah. of the body rub. It just wouldn't yeah. wouldn't break free. Mm -hmm. There's not really a whole lot left that we can upgrade on this thing. I mean, drive shafts. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean uh, versus the two. Yeah, you can get, like, metal axles for it as well. Um, you can get, like, a metal uh, bottom bracket here, but that's pretty much it. I'd say bang for buck. Like I still don't have a lot invested in this thing. So I mean, there's e there yeah. is even nut and bolt kits for these things that are just straight stainless. Mm. And like you can change every single piece of these from wheel to wheel, floor to roof, however you want to call it. They will, there's, there's, a, there's something for everything. 
And if you're into 3D printing, uh, boy, you can print all mm-hmm. kinds of 3D uh, good goodness for these. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you have an SCX24? Have you modified it? Have you noticed an improvement? Let me know down below. And if you're into mini crawling, don't forget we got the Crawl Day Spectacular just around the corner and all kinds of other epic mini stuff and big stuff too. So you're gonna wanna stick around. All right guys, until next time. Uh, what else do you chop in a 24 scale? Not Kyosho? a whole lot, huh? Kyosho? Eh. I don't like Kyosha is kind of a weapon. <laughs> Dude, we're chopping full scale crawlers. Yeah, we things. are. Dude, these things are so much.